Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Today we'll be creating, uh, continue creating financial model of a truck. And today we have a very interesting topic. Uh, we'll be playing with the different scenarios of uh, operating activity. Uh, we'll be choosing between leasing and own funds, uh, financing of um, uh, truck purchase. So we've already created uh, leasing payments uh, and we've already created um, truck purchase if we use our own funds. But uh, when we create financial model, when we see the cash flow statement, we always want to play with different uh, types of financing and we need to create some switcher uh, between uh, quick switcher, quick button to switch between uh, leasing and own financing uh, of the project. And today we will create uh, such uh, type of switcher. I'll be showing you how you can do that. If you find this video valuable, you may give us a like, subscribe our channel, share this video with your friends. Also, you can uh, order financial model from scratch for your unique business idea. We can help you with that. So um, let's start. So first of all, we have to create um, this switch button. Um, I will create uh, two types of um, two statuses. The first state is um, own uh, funds, own funds and leasing so these are two scenarios that we're going to look at um, then we create the button uh, when we're where we're going to switch it switch between these two scenarios lease own funds So I will use data validation. As a source, I will take these two lines. So this is the input. So we mark, mark it with our specific color, blue color that goes with uh, all of our inputs so here we'll be choosing scenario and now it's time for us to link uh, the expenses to this scenario to this that scenario so first of all, we will create the timeline. So um, uh, here we have uh, the same lines we will have a uh, truck purchase and we will have leasing total both of them will be expenses later we will mark them with red um, and now let's um, let's write formulas for uh, each of these lines so if um, if this one will fix it if this equal to own funds then uh, we will take we will take P 
purchase. We will take truck purchase. Otherwise, we will take zero. So, for example, if I take lease, this will disappear. If I take own funds, I will buy the truck, buy the truck using my own money. Now I'll extrapolate this formula to the. Uh, I will do the same for leasing scenario. If this this is equal to lease. Then we will um, take this value, value. Otherwise, zero. As you can see, we have zeros here. And if we start switching between these scenarios, we can see here is down payment, then we have uh, leasing payments. If there are no leasing and we have just own funds, we just buy a truck and that's it. So we mark uh, all these lines with red because all these lines are expenses. We will uh, put them later in the inside cash flow statement. This line is no longer goes to cash flow statement so we just mark it for example with uh, yellow this one and the same and the same story goes with truck purchase so now the final line for truck purchase and uh, leasing uh, payments are these two lines so we can just um, switch between all these uh, two scenarios very quickly, go to cash flow statement, look at uh, simple and payback period diagram, see how much financing we need very quickly to start the business. So all these, um, all these processes uh, become very, very, very easy and you can create numerous scenarios using this way of financing that way of financing to see compare them so this is a very interesting uh, process i hope that this this video was uh, valuable for you uh, if you find this uh, information interesting please give us a like subscribe our channel share this video with your friends also you can order financial model from scratch for your unique business idea so see you next videos thank you and bye